The film appearances of swashbuckling movie actor Errol Flynn are listed here, including his short films and one unfinished feature, films, television, short films, unmade films. The following projects were announced for Errol Flynn but were not made. Danton, 1936, based on Danton's death and to be produced by Max Reinhardt and directed by William Diertella. The White Raja, late 1930s, based on the life of Sir James Brooke based on Flynn's own story. The Romantic Adventure, 1938, a romantic comedy with Joan Blondel based on an original original story by Jerry Wald and Maurice Leo. The Outpost, 1939, based on Caesar's wife by Somerset Mom starring Flynn and Geraldine Fitzgerald directed by Michael Curtis. Shanghai, 1940, from a story by Somerset Mom. Jupiter Laughs, 1940, from the play by A.J. Cronin. The Life of Simon Bolivar, 1939-40, possibly with Betty Davis's The Sea Devil, 1942, a remake of The Sea Beast which was adaptation of Moby Dick. Ghosts Don't Leave Footprints, 1941, sequel to Footsteps in the Dark, To the Last Man, early 1940s, comedy with Alexis Smith, The Devil, George and Rosie, 1943, from a story by John Collier to star Flynn, Anne Sheridan and Humphrey Bogart, The Frontiersman, circa 1945, an original western by Alan LeMay about the beginning of a riverboat operation in the Mississippi to be produced by Flynn and Mark Hellinger with Raoul Walsh directing, Stallion Road, 1945, based on a novel, with Ida Lupino, Target, Japan, 1945, with producer Jerry Wald and director Raoul Walsh about a B-29 bombing crew, The Man Without Friends, 1945, based on story by Margaret Eckhart about a man accused of the murder of his wife to be produced by Henry Blank and adapted by Catherine Turney, untitled adventure film in the Frank Buck tradition shot off the coast of Mexico produced by Flynn, Thunder Valley, 1946, a western written by James Webb and produced by Owen Crump, General Crack, circa 1947, Halfway House, circa 1947, an Alpine thriller by Francis Potter and Spencer Rice. One Last Fling, 1946, comedy with Anne Sheridan, The Turquoise, circa 1948, with Claude Rains and Dorothy Malone based on the adventure novel by Anya Seton, set in the American Southwest in the 1890s, written by Edmund North produced by William Jacobs. Remake of General Crack, 1929, originally filmed starring John Barrymore, The Candy Kid, 1948, with producer Bill Jacobs, story of a gambler in the days of Diamond Jim Brady from a script by Borden Chase based Based on a magazine story by Michael McDougall, The Last of the Buccaneers, circa 1949, a pirate movie based on a script by Flynn himself to be produced by Flynn, shot in Technicolor with the star as a Robin Hood type pirate, not to be confused with the 1951 Paul Henry film, Story of the Female Pirate Mary Burns with Greer Garson, circa 1949, he and Garson also discuss doing a Broadway play together, The Man Who Cried, 1950, production with William Marshall described as a psychological thriller about the perfect crime which took place over four hours. The Man from Sparta, 1951, movie to be shot in Italy about Spartacus. The Bengal Tiger, 1952, Fire Over Africa, 1952, The Green Moss, 1952, from a magazine serial by John Malloy to co-star Gordon McRae directed by Roy Del Ruth. The Talisman from the novel by Sir Walter Scott, 1953, Abdullah the King, 1953, in the title role with Don Adams direct by Gregory Ratoff, Dragonfly, 1953, proposed adventure film from producer John Champion set in the Far East with Flynn as an Air Force officer whose command is threatened with desertion, The White Witch of Rose Hall, 1954, to be made with Herbert Wilcox based on a Jamaican legend about a female plantation owner who was a witch and killed her husbands, to be produced by Barry Mahon, Flynn was still working on it in 1957 saying he wanted Bob Evans to star and Charles Markey Warren to direct, Lord Vanity, late 1950s, with Robert Wagner, 10 Days to Talara, 1956, with the same director of The Big Boodle about an adventurer whose son is kidnapped, untitled Debbie Reynolds Project as Hurdy Total Father, circa 1958, films made with other actors, Flynn was announced for the following movies which were made with other actors, Sylvia Scarlet, 1935, the part played by Brian Ahern, Four Daughters, 1937, part played by Jeffrey Lynn, The Adventures of Marco Polo, 1938, Flynn was wanted by original director William Weiler, Captain Horatio Hornblower, announced in 1940, eventually made in 1951 with Gregory Peck, The Constant Nymph with Olivia de Havilland, part played by Charles Boyer, Affectionately Yours, 1941, In This Our Life, 1942, part played by George Brent, Reap the Wild Wind, 1942, part played by John Wayne, Mrs. Skeffington, Saratoga Trunk, 1945, part played by Gary Cooper, The Hucksters, 1947, 
part played by Clark Gable, the heiress, 1948, William Wyler reportedly wanted Flynn for the part played by Montgomery Clift, Mr. Imperium, 1951, with Greer Garson, Carson City, 1952, announced for Flynn and John Wayne, Dallas, 1950, King Solomon's Mines, 1950, Stuart Granger replaced him, Ivanhoe, 1951, box office rankings, at the height of his career, exhibitors voted Flynn among the leading stars in Britain, the USA and Australia in various polls, 1937 11th, Australia, 1938 to 21 stone, US, 14th, Australia, 1939 8th, US, 7th, Britain, 1940 14th, US, 7th, Britain, 4th, territories outside Canada and US, 1941 14th, US, 1942 17th, US, 15th, internationally, 1943 17th, US, 1946 25th, US, 10th biggest Western star, Britain, 